Today we're looking at what might be one of the smallest projectors I've reviewed on the channel. This is the Pico T1 Mini Pocket Projector by Yeber. I want to thank Yeber for sending this over to review on the channel. I'll leave a link down below with current pricing and more information. So let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> It's got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. This one is an ultra thin movie projector. Supports up to 1080p resolution. Has a touch screen on it. Focus wheel, built in speaker. It should work with anything that uses an HDMI cable. Also is gonna work with USB-C devices like a phone, tablet, iPad, laptop. Has automatic vertical correction. It's got dual band Wi-Fi, so it's got 2.4 and 5 gigahertz. DLP display technology. The brightness can reach up to 110 and and Z lumens can be used for meetings, home fitness. You can pretty much use this as a projector anywhere. And it's also gonna work with a magnetic tripod. It has Bluetooth 5.0 and also has a three year warranty. Okay, really nice travel case here. Sort of reminds me of a camera case here. You've got a USB-C to USB-C cable. Then you got a USB-C to USB-A cable. USB-C wall adapter, HDMI to mini HDMI cable is included, quick start guide, safety and warranty information, tripod with a magnet on top. Definitely one of the smallest remote controls I've ever seen. Most of your essential stuff like volume, power, back button, directional arrows. Also comes with a 10,000 milliamp hour power bank has a lightning and USB-C connection. So you should be able to use this projector just about anywhere, even if you don't have an outlet. Wow, this thing is super light, super thin. Looks like the magnet for the tripods right there in the center. Pretty strong magnet on here. Here on the side, you've got your mini HDMI, USB-C for charging, and then two USB-Cs. One is for charging, one is for mobile devices. You've got your lens on the opposite side along with an air vent. Here on the bottom, you've got the built-in speaker. Here on the side, you've got your power, volume buttons, manual focus. You've got your touch controls right here on the top, home, back button, options, okay button, and settings. Overall, just really nice quality. I can't get over how small this is. For size comparison, here it is next to my Pixel 7. Pretty much the same size, maybe a little thicker, but it's also lighter than my phone. Let's see here, to connect this, we should be able to just plug this right into here. Okay, yeah, that actually does look pretty good. So here's what the boot up screen looks like. You'll notice as you move around the projector, it's gonna do auto vertical adjustment where it looks like it snaps to the wall. Then once you use the manual focus to get things just how you like, you should be good to go. It is a little tricky to adjust the focus and not move the projector when it's on the tripod. So that takes some getting used to. On the home menu, you've got an HDMI shortcut, file folder, and settings along the bottom. Above settings, you have other about us, language, wallpaper, date and time, projection, Bluetooth, and network. You can also turn off the auto keystone correction settings if you like, and it allows you to adjust initial angle correction. The screen brightness can be adjusted, but it's already at the brightest setting by default. Then you have your standard view, ceiling view, rear projection view, and rear projection ceiling view to choose from. It's also going to give you some wallpaper choices if you want to change that as well. And then it's going to give you direct to screencast on here. You've got eShare, Android Wireless, AirPlay, and Apple Wired. And then in other, you have application settings and factory reset. And there's gonna be several ways to connect devices to this projector. One thing that I noticed is when I used my typical HDMI adapter with my iPad, it sort of cuts off the very top and bottom of the image for some reason. But if you plug it directly into the USB-C from the iPad, then it doesn't do that. The downside with that is I feel like the picture quality is a little bit darker than when I use my HDMI adapter but that's gonna be personal preference and probably just depends on what devices you're using. But overall, text on here looks nice and sharp, so I feel you could be using this for presentations and that type of stuff. You can also play mobile games on here as well. Overall, I feel like it's really nice to have a projector this small and be able to connect multiple devices in a few different ways. Fade away. 
like I said earlier, it is a little tricky to get the focus just dialed in. And just keep in mind, the screen quality or resolution on this projector isn't gonna be the most high-end or best picture quality out there that I've seen. But again, most projectors that I've used haven't been this small or nearly as portable as something like this. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may wanna say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.